Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscape, which is due to be launched in the next month or two. So if you are interested, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. So the initial view you saw there was an endoscopic view, and that's with our flagship product, the iClearscope, which is still available to purchase. Um, but I'm just using the wax coat to remove this uh, dead skin wax. And this is impacted, as you saw, on the patient's eardrum. Now, this patient is a regular uh, patient. They attend yearly to have this dead skin uh, removed. So this skin um, has shedded from the eardrum, but it's failed to migrate. And it's just uh, attached itself quite medially, um, causing an occlusion. And what's interesting about this particular case is that and you will see once I've removed all this wax and dead skin, is that this patient's incus has eroded, which has then um, caused the head of his stapes to become visible. So the patient has got quite a severe posterior tympanic retraction, and the eardrum has wrapped itself over the head of the stapes bone, which is visible because the incus has eroded. And the patient's had multiple ear infections growing up, so... Um, in fact, because um, the, the, the eardrum is actually wrapped around the head of the stapes, he's only got a very mild conductive hearing loss, so he's still getting um, the transmission of sound through the ossicular chain, despite um, there not being any incus. And in fact, he's not getting it via the ossicular chain, he's just getting it via the, the stapes, really. And I'm just going to adjust the brightness in a moment, because... We, um, because the patient's got loads of tympanosclerosis, scar tissue, um, you quite often have to reduce the, the brightness because you get a reflection from that because it's white in colour. So we've cleared the debris and you can just see I've just reduced the brightness there. And just to the left, that's the head of the stapes bone and I am going to freeze that in a moment. But before that, you're going to hear to the, so anteriorly, so the front part of his eardrum, this is the tympanosclerosis, the scar tissue just by caused by chronic ear infection. So this is the head of the stapes bone that's visible and posteriorly the eardrum is really retracted, hence why it's visible. So the, not only because the incus has been eroded through infection and uh, it's just because the eardrum's also wrapped itself around the head of the stapes because it's because it's because of negative middle ear pressure due to eustachian tube dysfunction. So that's the patient's left ear. Um, in the right side, there was just non-including dead skin uh, just because the patient was here, so I cleaned this for him as well. Wasn't causing necessarily any problems, but I just had a quick clean in there. But you'll have a good view of the eardrum in a moment. So we're just using the fine end suction probe. The specular that I'm using here is a 4.25 millimeter, and we're gonna have four specular um, for the wax scope. The smallest one will be a 3.5 mil. Uh, this is the 4.25, which I suspect will be the most um, use type, use size. Then we've got a 5 and a 5.75 millimeter. So this is the patient's left eardrum. You can see it's nice and um, healthy. The short process is somewhat prominent. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And as mentioned, if you are interested in the wax scope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.